Good morning and welcome to our devotion today on this Thursday morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Um, this morning we will read from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee, and as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. <clears throat> Each person is surrounded and covered by God's blessing, even more than he is by the air. Body and soul are basic blessings each individual has received from God. However, reason and every power of the soul, all understanding and every member of the body, every ray of light that falls into his eye, every sound that penetrates his ear, every breath of air that fills his lungs, every heartbeat, every bite of bread he eats, every drop of water he drinks, every slumber that comfortingly shuts his eye, every joy that refreshes his soul. Every step he takes without misfortune, every moment he spends, in short, everything a person is and has, is a special blessing of God. In him we live, move, and have our being. He has called us into existence. He preserves us and governs our life, and if he were to withdraw his hand from us, we would perish. It is therefore impossible for a person to count the blessings. God shows him during even one hour. Who vividly recognizes all these things as blessings from God? Most regard them of inevitabilities of life. They do not regard them as things for which God is worthy of praise. They enjoy all these blessings without thinking about the source of every good and perfect gift. If they met with a little misfortune, their heart and mouth are filled with complaints and when there is so much as one blessing, they imagine they are lacking. They suddenly forget all the millions of other blessings that they enjoy. Only when people lose a blessing do they come to realize how great, <coughs> excuse me, realize how great it really was. They must lose their sight, hearing, or general health to learn what a blessing each of these is. Only when the heavens are shut do they remember the blessing of rain, and only when their crops fail do they recall how great is the gift of fruitful weather. If, however, the bodily blessings of God are for the most part unrecognized by most people, the spiritual blessings are even more ignored. They, uh, they almost never take time to consider how fortunate they are to have been redeemed, sanctified in baptism, born into Christendom instead of among the heathen called to the kingdom of heaven by the Holy Ghost, provided with a Bible, and given the Holy Sacrament for their spiritual nourishment. No, most people take all of this with a hardened heart. They regard spiritual things as a yoke they must bear in this world, and they would prefer it if there were no God they should serve, no word of God they should hear and obey, and no eternity about which they should worry. They certainly do not want to thank God continually from the bottom of their heart. Yet there are certainly blessings almost all of us recognize as worthy of great thanks. Protection and deliverance from great bodily danger, 
the restoration of health after a long sickness, the revelation of innocence after a period of unearned shame and scorn, the receipt of temporal goods following a time of severe poverty, and the removal of strong pains and the fear of death. But while we may realize that these things merit loud and lifelong thanks, what do most of us do? We call upon God in a time of need and promise him, Lord, if you will help me this time, the thanks shall never cease in my heart. I will become a different person. I will totally convert to you and lead a holy life, forsaking the world and its vanity. I will serve you with body and soul, give you my heart, and become and remain your servant now and forever. But what happens when God has heard our cry of distress and helped us? With most of us, it is the same as with the nine lepers in the gospel. The heavenly benefactor is quickly forgotten. We ascribe the help to chance and our recovery to the doctor, our good nature, or the right medicine. How many of us do not fall down before God in thanks, but persist in living our lives the way we did before? Oh, in gratitude of the human heart, how unbelievably great it is. And so we pray. I praise and thank thee, Lord my God, for thine abundant blessing, which heretofore thou hast bestowed, and I am still possessing. Inscribe this on my memory. The Lord hath done great things for me, and graciously hath helped me. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we join in prayer to you. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us today. The Lord's blessings to you on the day ahead.